All right, welcome back. Well, what kid doesn't love roller coasters? Well, today, Chemical Kim, who is on a ladder for the first time ever that we've been doing this with her, she is here to help us make your own much smaller version at home. I love this. Yes, this is something that for sure will hit the, you know, the kids, help it with the kids' boredom. Look at that. Is that not fun? And that was just like a little marble that you put in there. That's right. This is a marble roller coaster. You are two for two. And well it, done. I know. And it's made out of foam insulation. Three for three. I, how fun is that? That how is fun. very cool. Such an inexpensive material. Um, something very easy for people to find. Marbles, of course. Oh, that's easy. And look, I mean, look how much I've already coiled. Look at this. I mean, you could spend a so whole much. day constructing this. And not only that, the great lesson that kids can learn with this is on speed, acceleration, oh, velocity. Yeah. Upside downy things. Yeah. Yes, very much so. <laughs> yes, the laws of motion. Yes. So it's really, really fun. So I'm going to help, or you and I are going to try and build one, see if we have success today. Okay. But, you know, I encourage kids to try this. Um, I think the parents will really want to do this with the kids too. But, well, you yeah, know. because we want to build our own roller coaster. I know, I know. Maybe you, hit, you build your own and then your kids build the other. <laughs> Um, one thing for sure, depending on the age of the child, um, the first part is it, these are, you know, um, pipe insulation. Okay, you can get this at home. like Home Depot, Menards, exactly. Lowe's, any exactly. place like this. And it's already um, pre-slit. There's one slit on, on one side. Okay. And what a parent needs to do, and I like to use a piece of wood because I find it easiest to do a straight cut with that, is to do another slit because as you can see on here, they're cut in half. And what you use is a utility knife. Okay. And again, this is where I, you know, this really, This is where really, the parent part comes for in. For sure, for sure, because you definitely, this is a very, very sharp object, and you don't want any child Actually, in my case, it's more the husband part, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even allowed that one. <laughs> yeah, I love it, love it. <laughs> so, um, so then the next step, as you can see, is you can just put the tubes together. And when I tape mine, just so that the marble has, you know, less friction, is to take you know, a piece, and here's stuff, I'll, I'll hold it for you. Okay. And here's some tape down here, and you're just going to use regular masking tape. Okay. Flip it over to the back side and tape it together on the back side, because that way it will hold, it will hold, the, um, hold that piece together. And then if you have to go on the front side, you want to push it down really flat so that marble will roll right on there. Right. You okay. don't want anything making that glitch in there or stopping it from going exactly. down. Exactly. Exactly. So with the physics behind this, as you saw with me standing on the ladder, we do, and you know, when you build this, you do want a large extension to increase that velocity, you know, um, really make the speed of that marble really fast. So okay. we're going to leave that much extended, and then between this we're going to make some loops. Okay. Now, as you know, with roller coasters, they go up the, ch -ch 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 yeah. the, the hill. Yeah. And then it's just based on... Yeah, there's you know, the, nothing. Yeah, it's just based the on the downward, downward pulling. The downward pulling. Exactly. So we're going to first make a loop. I'm going to let you make your loop here. Okay. And then I'll make a loop on the table, and then we'll test it. And by loop, do you mean the, the upside down yep. loop Yep. So what you're going to do is just flip it around. Okay. And you decide how large... And here's tape to tape it to that bucket this thing right here. And, you know, it does, I have found that you'll have best success, which we don't have here, but if you do it to, like, the side of a wall okay. or along the stairwell, okay. because that way it keeps the loop from being, you know, moving too, too, too much. Wobbly too Yeah. So, so that, but, you know, I think we might still have success. Okay. And I'll make a, a bottom loop down here. And obviously as gravity works with this, you know, we do want that down with the second loop. So just go ahead and remember, if you put it across, you do want to make sure it's flat so the marble can roll. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Kids are just going to have a blast with this. And you're mentioning something too off camera, like how this is kind of the time where like the weather is getting a little bit colder. Exactly. And you're looking for those projects that are A, not dangerous, yep. B, won't blow anything up, and C, can kind of keep them busy inside for hours, and this is definitely a good one. Exactly. And then you can have them write a little physics paper on it. Which a is paper, the best Kim? part, right? A physics paper, Kim! <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so you ready, Steph? You I think give so. give it a try? I think so. Okay, I'll get up on the ladder. All right. And then you just pass me a couple marks. Marbles, and we'll see within okay. this short period of time. But imagine if you did this all across your house, oh. how much fun. Fun it would be. Okay, and again, you know, have kids estimate. And they could even get a ruler. Yes, this is going to be a part of their physics paper where they can get a ruler paper. and measure speed. <laughs> so, which is basically the, you know, the amount of distance an object moves from, you know, the amount of time it takes an object to move a certain distance. Okay. So they can measure that and then Come they can on. check out the acceleration. Let mine work. Ready? Work. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, yes! Yours was better than mine. Yeah. Very good, very 
you go. And I'm not so. writing a paper either on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is some good stuff. You can find instructions for Chemical Kim's roller coaster on our website at wzzm13.com on, on the Take 5 homepage. Now